Hey guys, it's Mark Co for the 6th of June. Just want a little update here what what uh Mark had said today. So we'll take a quick look at crude oil. So we had these levels pegged pretty well and I'll just show you kind of our intraday chart working on in crude here. What I gave everybody in the morning. Buy zone number 1, 50 to 60 I don't know, 5 maybe. Was that drawn 65? And the next one was 51 15 to 25. So it was 51 uh, the halves up to about 65 and then below that and they worked really well um, this is what I laid out all day so on Twitter it was great because what I said is we're buying it um, it traded down two ticks away from the bottom uh, edge of the bottom and in purple you see here where the stops were below 10 never got challenged so it was great um, the rotation what I was saying in Twitter is I want to have profit, take profit up above 80. I actually took some mine off just in front of that. It was a pretty fast move, and it had two units, so um, pretty pretty easy decision to try to get flat during the run-up. It was late afternoon, so we spent a lot of the day kind of just hovering around the bottom. But nonetheless, a decent little um, decent little opportunity there. Gold got some short trade in gold late afternoon, so we got some short trade gold 4270s. Um, again, took them off on the quick, quick uh, move lower here late afternoon. So that was um, that was another I don't know 40, 40 or 50 ticks there in gold. Currencies were a little more challenging. Um, we did get a long dollar yen signal here and, and got stopped with a minus eight, so we got long dollar yen just above 20. And um, we were stopped on a pullback. It was just a tight stop. So you know, basically we were stopped in this move. It was just an intraday thing. And uh, gave up eight ticks. So it was small, but it was you know still gave up eight ticks. But all in all in the day, it was a good day. Did several hundred ticks with crude and gold. And um, it was just a really nice, nicely laid out morning. I think you really have to do your work like this. I think the preparation has to be done and you know have to know where you're going to be dealing. And it's what we do every day in the room. That's what I do for free here on Sundays when we talk to people. But um, the way it plays out, I mean, we're bottom edge buyers the whole day uh, looking to take profit on this move back in. And again, you can see where the consolidation comes from. So you see where the where the zones are established. I'm just pretty good at deciding the the levels to use, but all in all, I mean, crude pays for a lot of uh, pays for a lot of days of sitting here being patient. No doubt, it's being able to get positioned at bottom edge there, and it was a counter trend move, but it's counter trend off of a bottom edge. So, anyway, I hope you guys are having a, a good day. Oh, I wanted to take a quick look at the um, continued rally here in the E minis, and. Um, and the E-minis, the only level it kind of had to play short term against on the sell side was up here early morning. Um, buy side, it was down to 28.25. That was the U.S. Open level support. So you can see that highlighted here in green. Rotates back up to the early morning resistance level. Finally gets through, and we know once we get through resistance, we're now playing it for um, support, and there's, you get your last little rotation above the half. So all in all some decent moves and you know obviously the move in equities the last few days has been really um, I think more to do with Fed comments today it was Mexico so you know that's always part of the market but you have to realize you're still positioning yourself at edges advantageously and uh, you know work from there so alright guys we'll have a wonderful rest of your week and cheers and we'll talk to you on Sunday